Do you want to know why people do a second hair transplant procedure? It's not always they have to. Sometimes they do the first procedure, they get such a good result, they want to make it better and boost their result and have a nice and solid hairline. Hi, I'm Dr. Parsa Mohebi from Parsa Mohebi Hair Restoration. I'm going to go over the reasons that people do a second procedure and we're going to show a case that um, show the results and so you can see what, what I'm talking about. So th this patient has a procedure for a class 6 hair loss. So he lost the front and crown and he also will lose the top areas. So for this patient, we did a larger procedure to cover the front and crown and some on the top areas, but that's not sufficient, especially when patients like him, they have very fine hair. When people have thicker hair, you can create better results with the same number of grafts. So let's see what we did here. So this is this top pictures of before the procedure. Uh, as you can see, we designed a hairline. He has some remnant of juvenile hairline here, but his, his a, there is a big area of hair loss. The same on the crown, he lost pretty much the whole area and then the edges are going all the way down here so you probably lose even more at the bottom. So what we did, we did one procedure, we covered the, the front, we covered the crown, we gave him a reasonable improvement. Again, think about it as uh, something that we are trying to bring patients from here to here. So there's no patch of baldness. It could be better still, but it's a big improvement. The same with front. Now he has a hairline. It could be better. It could be more solid, but it's a lot better than what it was on top. So right before the first procedure, we give him a, uh, a mature hairline, not necessarily juvenile hairline. And then you see from the uh, a little bit higher view, the whole big section of the front is gone the crown is gone and then when you look at it from the top you see significant thinning here significant thinning here and even here on the top has significant miniaturization meaning that he will lose more hair he has active hair loss pretty much everywhere so now he has a hairline being formed again hair being fine we cannot create significantly like thicker density but this is a very good improvement but he now he's getting a little bit more greedy maybe you want to have the hairline lower make it a little bit more youthful from the other side he likes to have this widow's peak now now that the baseline is down he doesn't look like a bald person he want to have a really refined hairline he want to make it as perfect as possible we're going to add hair to those top areas that used to be better and now that he has more hair in front that looks like worse um, because in comparison to front, that is kind of the more uh, balding area. And then from the top, uh, there is the reasonable coverage, but we want to still have a little bit more hair to make it more even, more balanced and full. For site making, we have to go between the previously transplanted hair. I find the gaps. In this case, we had to bring the hairline lower, so I had to make it nice and dense in the very front. And behind it, where it was already transplanted, I have to just fill the gaps and make it uh, as even as I could make it. And then uh, we changed patient's position. We started extracting and placing the grafts. This is our signature method called simultaneous extraction placement that keeps the grafts out of body for a very short period of time that uh, guarantees the survival of every single graft. As I'm extracting the graft, my technicians are placing them uh, so we can minimize the time that grafts stay out of the body. I hope you'll learn about uh, the reasons that people do a second hair transplant procedure. If you have any other questions or any comments about this, you can put them on our uh, YouTube channel in the comment section, uh, follow us, subscribe to our channel, and also follow us on social media if you want to learn more about the new updates in hair restoration surgery.